Right, okay, ready? You got this. Puppies sleep way more than I realised. Look at her little face. <laughs> so this happens at least once a day. There she is, nice and cosy. I hate this, this is the worst bit about being a puppy. <laughs> Everyone. Today's video is a very niche one, but believe it or not, this video has been so requested by you guys. I think quite a few people have got puppies recently and also quite a few people found my channel from the puppy essentials video that I filmed. So if you are a puppy owner or if you're a soon to be puppy owner or if you just love dogs, this video is for you my friends. So. Day in the life of my puppy. Her name is Sunny. She's a cavapoo and she is, I think, nine months old. She was born on the 3rd of May 2020. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Oh, she's eight months old. <laughs> and I'm going to show you what she gets up to today. I definitely watched some of these before I brought Sunny home and I enjoyed them. So I hope you do too. We're going to rewind back to this morning when I woke up at about quarter to eight and that is where our day begins. Good morning. <laughs> Having a cuddle with Lammy. <laughs> Most nights, Sunny does sleep all night. Um, she sleeps from about 11 o'clock until about normally about eight o'clock. Bit of an early morning today, isn't it? Also, for anyone who might be getting a puppy, I would really recommend one of these. They do come with a heartbeat, but hers doesn't work anymore. Um, but she just loves it, and I think it makes her feel less lonely during the night. So, especially if you're crate training, are you tired? I would really, really recommend one of these. I'll link everything that I show in this video in the description down below. She's awake. Are you ready to start your day? Has to check the garden in the morning, see what's happened overnight. <laughs> She's currently being fussed by my mum, but I can guarantee she'll run in here, she'll sit on my lap and she'll want a cuddle. She is such a creature of habit, it's unreal. I'll sit and have a cup of tea and she'll sit on my lap and probably go to sleep again. Hello. Are we having a cuddle? After I've had a cup of tea in the morning, I sit at my dressing table and get ready and this is where she sits. She loves sitting on my bed, but she can't get up by herself. She's too small, so she just toddles over and waits for me to pick her up. I'm going to do my makeup and then we're going to have breakfast, okay? So I'm now all ready for the day and I'm just about to go and give Sunny her breakfast. She's down here. She's edging closer to the door because she's hungry now. Um, but the reason I don't feed her as soon as she wakes up is because she's got a very sensitive stomach. I think she's always going to have a sensitive stomach. I think anyway, I don't know if it's just a puppy thing. But she's nine months old now and I've discovered that if I feed her too early, she just brings it straight back up. And she also still has lunchtime. I know that when dogs get older, you usually change to two meals a day, so breakfast and dinner. But if I overload her with food, she also brings it up, so... Yeah, she's a bit of a princess with her tummy. So she's been awake for about an hour and a half now. I wouldn't really leave it any later than this. And I'm going to go and give her her breakfast. She is on butternut box, so it's like um, freshly cooked meals, full of goodness, and she loves them. And she's got her favourite today, beef. Here she comes. Just so good at the stairs now. This is what butternut box looks like. Um, so like I said, this is the beef one today. This is her favourite. She has beef, pork, turkey lamb and chicken and she'll eat this whole tub today so this is one day's food and i just split it up into three she also likes it a little bit warm so i do put it in the microwave in case you want to know specific details maybe if you're getting a puppy or you've got one um this food is 200 grams so she has 200 grams a day and that covers all her calories i feel like it just makes it so simple and my mum also cooked some extra peas for her with our dinner last night because she loves peas so and put a few peas in <laughs> got to have your veggies then I'm going to put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds just to kind of warm it through. Put it in her little bowl. She was really scared of this bowl when um, we first brought her home. I think because it's stainless steel so you can kind of see a reflection and it's quite noisy. So if your puppy is like a bit scared to eat, try giving it to them in a different bowl because that works for us. But she's fine with this one now. So yeah, this is her breakfast. Do you know what? It actually smells really nice. It smells like a cottage pie. You're going to think I'm mad saying that. But then I'm going to put it down in her little bowl she's outside at the minute just in the garden i'm going to change her water give her some fresh water she does get fresh water with every meal and she's finished it takes her about how long would you say it takes her to eat two three minutes she eats quite quickly but then she always does a massive burp after she's finished <laughs> anyway i'm now going to wash up all her bowls and she's gone for a nice little stretch So it's 
10 o'clock and it's walkies time. Come here, you. So this, I get a lot of questions about this dog suit. This is from Equifleece. Sunny wears size 16 inch slim and it goes over her head like this. She loves it once it's on, but I think she doesn't like that bit. I think she feels like she's being born again. Then the front legs go in, then the back legs go in. And then our harness of choice today is actually a new one. Look how nice this is, Sunny. So this is from My Poor Cella. This is the Heart of Gold harness. It's brand new. It launched last Saturday, I believe. It's such a nice colour and I love this design. I love that it's going to go with her black equa fleece as well because of the black hearts. So I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. Definitely go and check out Poor Cella. And also they make the best customisable leads. We've got one that we use for short walks. It's grey and pink and it says Sunny's name. It's so cute. But yeah, this is what she's going to wear today. Come on then. She's doing the harness hide. You're gonna match me today. We're matching. So this is Sunny's crate in the car. This is our car setup. Excuse the toys down there. So yeah, this fabric crate is from Amazon and inside it it's got this waterproof bed, but it's so cold right now you can literally see all the windows are completely frosted up. I'm gonna put the car on in a minute because it's freezing in here. Um, but that also means that this bed is really cold. So some of you are gonna laugh at this, but I do put a nice blanket in the bed before she gets in. I'd also really recommend a waterproof bed. Like if she's got muddy paws, it doesn't matter. It all wipes clean. We can just take it out. And she loves it in here. It's really safe, it's secure, and it's nice and cozy after she's had a cold walk. Like I said, I'll link everything from this video in the description because I would really recommend this crate set up for a puppy. I mean, she'll have this all her life probably. It just sits on the back seat and is secured with the seat belt. It is fabric, but it has metal bars around the edges so it's really safe. And then obviously just zip them up. It's especially handy when I'm driving because I can just put her back here and I don't have to think about her. I, like, I know she's safe. There she is, nice and cozy. So we're just out for our walk now. I would say we walk Sunny for about 40 minutes in the morning and then again in the evening for about another 40 minutes. But she would always let us know when she's tired. She'll literally just stop and look at me. So she's currently eating some grass, but it's such a nice day today. It's very cold, but it's so nice and sunny. So we just got home and this is why you put a towel on your back seat when you've got a dog, because <laughs> look at the muddy paw prints. So we're back. Sunny's had her feet washed because they're a little bit dirty. And now she loves her favorite place in the world is my bed. So she's gonna have a little nap now because she's gonna be very tired after that walk, aren't you? She is a very, very calm puppy. She has her mad moments, but I would say about 80% of the day, she just chills. Puppies sleep way more than I realized. So she's gonna have a nap now and I'm gonna crack on with a bit more work because when she's asleep, that is my prime time for working. No puppy distractions, no phone distractions. That is my time to crack on. I reckon I've probably got an hour and a half, I think she'll sleep for now. And then when she wakes up, she'll have her lunch and I'll have mine. Look at her little face. <laughs> so it's half past one and it's lunch time. She's just woken up. <laughs> Do you want your lunch? She's like, yeah, put me down. Give me the beef. There you go, my precious. It's half past one right now, so I tend to give Sunny her lunch between, I'd say, half twelve and half one. Kind of just depends when she wakes up, because she always has a nap late morning. And the nap depends on how long we've walked for in the morning. So, yeah, I just kind of go with the flow. I'm not, like, really strict that like, she has to eat at one o'clock. Because if she's asleep, I'm not waking her up. I'm getting on with my work. <laughs> That's what I've been doing right now. So now I'm going to make myself some lunch and... She'll probably, well, I'm trying to get her to play with toys by herself while I eat, but she's not really getting the message. She just kind of sits there with the toy in front of her, looks at me, barks, looks at the toy, and looks at me again, and I'm like, babes, I've got a bagel hanging out my mouth right now. I can't be throwing your pheasant across the room. This is what's happened while I've had my lunch. This puppy loves a box. All these toys you've got and you'd rather have this. Love this. This happens at least once a day. <laughs> it's a good job I get so many packages because she loves the boxes. Where are you going? Oh, she wants the toy box down. So she's got this big toy box over here. This one's got most of the toys in. She has a lot of toys. Here you go, you can have Flo. <gasps> Ready? Steady? Go! There she goes. Um, and then we have this little basket, which I call her everyday toys. Now, before we got Sunny, I was like, I'm gonna stick to six toys a day. Because if you have too many toys out, they start to get bored of them, and then you've got to buy more toys. Whereas if you just rotate them, they're always stimulated by them, and they always be excited. Um, that plan kind of gone to pot because I've got too many toys. You've got to have more than six out because they won't fit anywhere else. Let's count how many toys you've got out right now. And you're supposed to have six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oh, and one over here. 20? You've got 20 toys out, Sunny. That is too many. Anyway, it's a really nice day today and it hasn't been a nice day for quite a while. And she is just not really having it with the rest of these toys. She's interested in this one because I've just got it out. But I think we might take her out for another walk because my mum's off work this afternoon and I could do my work later. So should we go out? Should we go and find the squirrels this time? When you have a puppy, this is what you have to do about seven times a day. I hate mess, so every time she's not playing, they all go away. What are you hiding under my desk for? We're gonna go out. <gasps> Good girl. Oh, how did I know you were gonna do that? This is Sunny's favorite game. It's called find the squirrels and then never catch them. <laughs> she loves looking for the squirrels. There's so many around this park where we walk her. Can you find them? Where's the squirrels? Oh, she's seen one. Did you see him? Oh, off she goes. <laughs> this is another game. We saw a trainer recommend this where one of you hides and call them Sunny. <gasps> there she is. Hello. Okay, so we've just gotten home from our walk and I've washed her feet. I'm now going to brush her teeth. This is a two man job at the minute because she does not like getting her teeth brushed. I don't think I've done it enough since she was a puppy. So now I'm trying to get her used to the toothbrush. She's not in any pain when I do this, by the way. I don't want him to watch this and like ring the RSPCA. Um, she just doesn't enjoy it, but she's fine. She likes the taste of the toothpaste. What flavor is it? Liver flavor. <laughs> the toothbrush is like a 360 degree toothbrush. So you can put it in and twist it around all around their teeth. Right, come on then, right at the back. I hate this. This is the worst bit about being a puppy. <laughs> We're still trying to get the technique down at the minute. Oh, good brushing. I've seen you have to like lift their lip up at the back. I watched a YouTube tutorial on how to brush a dog's teeth. <laughs> there we go. So it's now quarter to five. Here she is on her blanket. She's going to have another nap now because obviously we just got back from the walk. Um, but I am going to brush her in a little while. I try to brush her every day. I don't always get around to it, but I definitely try most days. Um, because of her breed so she's gonna sit and have a nap now and i'm gonna get some more work done and then when she wakes up a bit it's brush time so the time is half past six now and i just spent about the last half an hour brushing sunny um i've got quite a few different brushes for her because of her coat before i got her i didn't know what kind of brush i needed so i kind of just bought a lot of them but i didn't actually buy the right ones so i believe the brush she needs is a slicker brush which i do have but she hates the slicker brush so the two that i use the most often are first of all this one from um tangle tea so this is the pet detangler but this doesn't really get out mats this kind of gets out little tangles whereas i then follow up with the comb and this holds no prisoners. This don't tell any lies. If there's a knot, this comb will find it. You can see the teeth aren't too close together, so it doesn't like hurt her. But when I come across the tangle, I use this spray as well. So this is the hydrating detangling spray from Pro Pooch. She doesn't like this. If I spray this on her, she's like moving her legs away. She hates her front legs being brushed. I don't know why. She's fine with the back legs. She's fine with her body. She's fine with her head, her ears, front legs. She hates it. So that tends to be where she mats the most. And also the equa fleece doesn't help with the matting. So this is what she looks like. She's all fluffy. Look at those fluffy ears. Oh, so lovely. She's looking at the brush and the spray and thinking, and hell no. This is the only brush she doesn't mind. I would really recommend this, but it's not the best for getting mats out. Do you want your din-dins? Beef time again. And there you go. So then once she's finished her dinner and I've washed up, this happens every evening, you do get a bit sick of this part, but I'm then gonna get her food ready for the next day. So with butternut box, I defrost it three days in advance. So I'm gonna get three lots out of the freezer and this is tomorrow's. So tomorrow she has lamb, This is the wham bam lamb. And basically I take it out of this packet, put it into a Tupperware box and chop it up so that tomorrow, like you saw, it's so much easier to just divide it out. If I was trying to get it out of this packet three times, I feel like it'd be so much more faffy. Would you wanna be chopping up lamb at eight o'clock in the morning? I don't think so. <laughs> That's why we do it the night before, my friends. I honestly feel like having a dog is good preparation 
for having a child and I feel like I'm gonna love having a child because secretly I love doing all these parts for Sunny like I love the taking care of her my mum and dad love playing with her the most I don't I enjoy playing with her obviously I still play with her every single day like today we played after I had my lunch we played for like an hour but she gets bored of playtime really we'll definitely play again this evening for probably an hour and a half she'll play with my dad as well when he comes home she loves when he comes home but my favorite part of having her sorry i'm just chopping up the lamb um, my favorite part of having her is caring for her and like making sure she's all right she's got everything she needs she's got her food her water like i just love that bit i'm quite a maternal person anyway i'm rambling the lamb is ready for tomorrow here it is all prepared i'll leave a link to button up box in the description down below in case you're interested um and if you use the code hannah 656 you'll get 50 percent off your first box not sponsored or anything by button up box i've never worked with them they just have a referral code system for anyone to use so you can get your first box for i think it works out to about 11 pounds just to try it out and then this is sunny's drawer in the freezer so these are all her meals i'm gonna get out a chicken a turkey and a pork and this is what you'll have for the next three days and the cycle starts again my friends my dad's home sunny who's coming <coughs> who's coming are you so pleased to see me are you so pleased to see me <laughs> past seven and we've come outside for some whizzies i'm going to chase her around because my dinner's going to be ready in about 15 minutes and otherwise she's going to pester me so i'm going to get her whizzies out and she's going to get all her energy out and then hopefully she'll just sit down quietly and let me eat my dinner in peace ready steady go run 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 Okay, so now it's about 10 o'clock in the evening. Sunny's awake. She has slept for a lot of the evening already though. She fell asleep when we were eating dinner and that was at about, what time was it? I can't remember, like half seven, I think. And then she slept for probably an hour and a half, but she's not like in a deep sleep, she's like dozing. She loves the evening time. I think it's her favorite time of day. She will sit on my lap and cuddle all evening and then she'll get a bit bored. She kind of moves around, she gets a bit hot, she goes on the floor and then she tells us when she wants to go to bed. She's like, I'm done. I'm done with today. I'm taking myself to bed now. So I'll make sure I show you when that happens. I feel so lucky that she's such a calm puppy, but I definitely think that the environment they're in massively influences what they're like as a dog and obviously we have no kids in the family we're a very calm household we're all here all the time we all love cozy evenings and cuddles and things like that and i think that's definitely rubbed off on her i mean look at her right now she's in her element look at the little paws let's go to bed Come on then, bedtime. See, I'm going to bed everyone. I've got a very busy night of sleeping to do. First of all, we have to do a wee wee. You're gonna be quick, because it's cold out there. The lead and the collar goes on for the last wee, because otherwise, if she sees a cat or something, she will not come back and she will bark. So, she's a lot better when she's got her lead on. Last toilet before bed. Come on then, bedtime. So this is Sunny's nightlight. I know it might seem ridiculous that the dog's got a nightlight, but I genuinely think the combination of the nightlight and having the lamb in the crate has really helped with the crate training. She really likes this space now. It's like her own little bedroom. You're so cosy, aren't you? No night. See you in the morning. Right, okay, ready? You got this. I believe in you, we can do this. Oh, stay there. <laughs> so, and that's what my day in the life looks like, friends. Oh. So I hope you enjoyed this video friends. Say like this video if you've enjoyed watching my day in the life. And comment down below what is your dog called? Can we be friends? Say please subscribe to my mum so she can give me extra treats. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm not a professional at this just yet but I will be one day. Bye! Good girl, you smashed it!